There is Reggie. Look at the line behind me. Swalwell's office said they were receiving emails, phone calls, direct messages on social media from people wanting help. So it became clear that they needed to meet with these people in person. So they decided to set up this help desk and you can see from this line that was the right decision. The line started building early this morning and keeps growing each person in line with a heartbreaking story of fear. Their life is in danger. They're so scared of their life. They don't have like sleeping, eating, nothing. They're hiding somewhere. We left home four in the morning, so we came, we got here like around uh, seven in the morning uh, to uh, can't find a, in any way to rescue my family. Saeed Hashimi drove from Sacramento to Castro Valley this morning to join the line of people outside U.S. Representative Eric Swalwell's office to ask for any kind of help to get their families out of Afghanistan. His parents, brother and nephews are there. His brother worked as an engineer for the U.S. government. I have a lot of concern about my family uh, and they work with the U.S. forces and uh, their life is really uh, in danger. Hogai Hyderi hasn't heard from her parents because she says the internet is down where they live. Since these three days, um, I haven't slept, I haven't eat, and I keep crying. Uh, so we lost our country, but uh, at least, at least we can take our family. Nazira, who was afraid to give her last name, has received video from her family of the Taliban outside their home. This is very bad, very very bad. That could be me. Swalwell's office says they can only check the status of their special immigrant visa, which they need to get here, or they can help them start the process. Just getting the paperwork gave Hashimi some hope. I hope uh, U.S. Embassy will help us uh, uh, to uh, rescue them, to bring them back, uh, back here so they can have a good life and, 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 and they live safe. The information that the people are getting here at Swalwell's office can be found online, but it's clear in talking to people that they just felt like they needed to do something and it just feels better to be here talking to someone. The plan was for this to be open from nine to noon, so only for another hour, but I did just check in and they said they do plan to close at noon, but they won't be turning anyone away if they're in line. Reporting live in Castro Valley, Amy Holyfield, ABC 7 News.